Please pardon my crazy hair. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you guys believe it's already fall? I mean, summer passed. There's only like, what, how many more Fridays until Christmas? It literally is crazy. I just bumped my knee and it hurts really bad. I am so clumsy. So a little update, I haven't been filming lately. I know, it sucks and it's so weird to be in front of the camera again, but I love it so much. And yeah, he actually caught a cold and for that week I've just been taking care of him and haven't really filmed because yeah. I also caught his cold, but it was only like a 24 or 48 hour bug. So I was thankful I just kind of got that and that was it. So get your flu shot guys. <laughs> Anyways, I was still able to um, gather up some of my favorites to film for you guys and I really want to keep that consistent so I am still posting this every last day of the month of my favorites I like to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So the first thing here I have is this Dr. Jart. This is a water or gel based moisturizer. I love this line so much. Everything is natural. It's a Korean skincare line. This is their newest gel moisturizer. I mean, you guys need to smell it. Sorry, the windows are all open in the house. The fans are going on because it's like super hot. So sorry if you guys hear a lot of crazy background noise but it has like a lemony zesty type of scent and it's so refreshing. So I've been wearing this through the summer under my makeup cause it just is literally light and it's not gonna make my skin feel oily throughout the day. So any of you guys who like that or maybe have an oilier skin type, try this out. This is sold in Sephora's. However, this was the 100 point perk that I got. And um, once I'm done with this, I think I may get the larger size cause I really do like this. This here is crazy. It's so pigmented. I wore this on my eyes and I was like, oh my god, I need to wear this and film a video. I mean, this is like pure liquid shadow, but it's so, so crazy. Can you see that? I mean, this is like one swipe, you're in heaven. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, they had so many colors, but of course I was really drawn to this white creamy iridescent, which is one of their popular colors, which is Kitten. They even have an eyeshadow and an eyeshadow stick also in Kitten, which is so, so popular. I think it's one of their popular items along with their liquid eyeliner. But I can't wait to try this on my next video for you guys. It's so pretty. I got a new mascara. This is by Dior. This is called the Dior Show Blackout. really like how they reformulated this formulation. This here is kind of like an air seal tight um, package now and when you close it you have this lock and it locks it in so that way it's not going to dry out because I know a lot of the Dior shows that I've owned before it just dries out so much but this is just a traditional Dior show but this is just the black out version which is like super super intense black. I got this new lippy. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This one here is the Oxford Blood. Oxford Blood or just Oxford? Oh, this one, I'm making up names. This one is just called the Ox Blood and this is by Burberry and this is their liquid lip velvet. Beautiful color to wear. Fall is right around the corner, but I just love the texture of this. Look how pretty this is. So it's a velvet matte lip, but it's not gonna be as dry because it has that velvety finish. I do like this formulation, so I have a feeling if I like this, I may buy more. So this is an oldie but goodie, but I'm gonna put this in there just because I do use this on a daily day basis. In between days, I'm not wearing a full face or foundation. I wear this all the time. And this is like a self-adjusting type of CC cream. So it color corrects, but it blurs everything out. I like this because it gives you a beautiful radiance and it just gives you like a beautiful, healthy glow. And this also has SPF 25, which is good. Beauty Blender, oh my gosh, this Beauty Blender is amazing. This Beauty Blender is by Givenchy and it's the same price as a regular Beauty Blender, $20. What I like about this shape, it's very unique. It's a triangular shape. I use this right under my eyes and I basically just roll it 
all the way up to get that nice highlighted look. Same on this side. So I'm patting my concealer under there and it'll just have a nice smooth effect. And the reason why you have the centerpiece here is that when you're holding it, you're not actually contaminating the whole sponge like this, which is really unique. And this side here, you can probably just blend out the sides of the face if you want to, the shorter end. Also, if you look at the tips here, it's actually flat. So if you had a blemish that you really wanted to focus on, you can actually take the end and just dab it and it won't slip and slide. It'll be more concentrated on that area. In addition to this and having a cleanser, I've been using this guy here. This is the Dr. Bruner's. You can find this at your local like natural market like um, Whole Foods or Sprouts. And I've been using this as a um, tool to clean my beauty blenders. It works really well. I mean, it's all in one type of soap, but I use this to kind of really get that dirt because a lot of times when you're trying to clean it and you go like this to scratch off or rub off the um, product, you can kind of create holes and it breaks the sponge. Or like cheese, I'll shave off a piece and I'll just put it in my hand and work it with the beauty blender to clean the sponge. So another cleanser, this is a shampoo brush cleaner. This is by e Equal Tools. This is a makeup brush shampoo, shampoo, <laughs> shampoo that is hypoallergenic dermatologist tested, free of parabens and sulfates. You always want to keep your brushes clean, especially the ones that you use on your face daily. So I use this in addition to all my brushes that I use for my makeup kit for my clients. Lashes. You know I'm always, always into lashes and I've always used Kiss and Ardell's as long as I can remember. I mean, my drugstore one probably was an Ardell one. It's so many years ago. But of course now they came out with like House of Lashes, you got Mink Lashes, all these brands. But my heart really goes out to the drugstore ones. I love these so much. So I believe I got this on sale at Walgreens. I think if you buy two, you get additional free. So my third box, it's somewhere here. But I like these because it's a five pack. You get your money's worth. But I just love how wispy they are. It just, I mean, I'm wearing one of them right now. It's just so wispy. It looks really natural, but you get that drama and that length when you're looking awake. <laughs> so this one here is the newest eye cream from Bosha. I love this formulation because it's like a gel base and it's really soft. But what I like about this is that you can wear this under and over makeup, of course, day and night. But what's nice about this type of eye cream is that you can apply this on the bottom of the eyes and also on the top. Because best believe your eyelids do sag too in time. So you want to apply this all the way on the top and bottom and it just gives like a beautiful, refreshing scent. It makes your makeup application really smooth. So I'm going to wipe my hands because I'm going to show you this cleanser that I bought. This is also another Bosha item and this is their newest everyday gel to mousse cleanser. Have you guys ever seen a gel to mousse cleanser? I mean I've seen mousse but not gel to mousse. It's so crazy. So as you can see I've been using it all that bubbles frothing up. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. Oh that was way too much. I don't know why I did that. So basically it's like a gel and once you <gasps> <gasps> activate it it becomes like a mousse cleanser look at this so since I have a lot of makeup on my hands I'm just gonna cleanse this and see if it really does I mean you also want to break down your makeup with a makeup cleanser first before washing your face that's just like a rule of thumb I'm just gonna use this now since it's on my hand I'm gonna rinse this I'll be right back so that actually did a good job to cleaning everything off but always remember that you need to use a makeup remover or oil base just to remove the makeup first before actually cleansing your face. Double cleanse. So this has been my favorite, favorite concealer. I'm wearing this right now with the eye cream and I don't see anything creasing, which is great. This is the Bare Skin by Bare Minerals and I love this. This has a beautiful like serum-y type of like consistency. A little goes a long way. I apply like two dots and I can work my whole like triangular shape on my cheek here. It's like so good. So this has been my favorite and yeah, I'm gonna keep on using this guy. I just love how easy this can blend with your finger, a brush, a sponge. It just glides so smooth. Oh, the last thing I have here, which was um, redeemed at Sephora, it was 250 points. Now, I don't know if that was worth it because, yeah. But I really do love this plate. I mean, it is a regular plate, but I just love the saying. It says, 
Wake Up to Makeup. I mean, this is cute and it's black and polka dots. This is my last favorite. I mean, you can put your watch in here, your ring, your favorite lipsticks or something, but this one here, it's 250 points that you can redeem at your local Sephora. And that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below on some of your favorites, maybe some of the things that I have. Please comment below of what I should try next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I am posting videos weekly and fall has started so I'm actually filming a lot more fall looks so please stick around for that. Alright, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!